就那个，看到没？绿色的。你的朋友，列车运行前方就要到达。Today, high-speed trains run through the country at 300 kilometers per hour. But in Jiayang, Sichuan Province, there is one small steam train that is content to run at less than 20. Knowing the heritage of industrial culture is essential for my new course. I decide to start with this little steam train in Jiayang. The author of this photo book is Yuan Chengfang, the first person I'm going to meet in Jiayang. Hey. 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 Yuan Chengfang works at the Jiayang Steam Train Administrative Center. He loves photography and is a walking encyclopedia of Jiayang. This railway connects to the mines, a place where people gather and where train stations are located. The sky in Jiayang always gets a little gray in winter. Good weather like this is rather rare. At 7.30 a.m., we get on the train at Yuejin Station and head to the terminal station, Baogou. So 拉了改改四十二 
the height difference on this 9.8 kilometer long railway between Yuejin Bridge and the ancestral hall of the Zhao family is 217 meters. It's like the train runs along a mountain ridge. I've traveled on trains for so many years, but I still didn't know how a steam train worked. The train conductor invites me on to have a look. It's an eye-opening experience. There's a big curve at Liang Shui Tuo. When the weather is good, the steam train puts on a rainbow show here. Like the steam locomotives of the last century, this steam train is operated manually, and each carriage is independent. A round trip uses more than one ton of coal. Over 10,000 soldiers and civilians worked day and night for a year to build the Bago Shirshi Railway. They dug five tunnels and built one bridge along the route. At first, it was only for transporting coal from the mountains, but the construction of highways at the beginning of this century meant the trains were gradually replaced by cargo trucks, and the steam train was used for passenger transport and sightseeing. <laughs> We arrive at Bago Station. The steam train stops for a while here, and the remaining heat in the furnace can be used for another purpose. Yuan Chengfang tells me that to learn more about the Jiayang steam train, I should go to the former site of the Huangcun mine shaft. After saying goodbye to him, I head to the shaft. Built in 1939, it was the first mine shaft of the Jiayang coal mine. The calorific value of the coal from the shaft can reach 7,000 kcal, which makes it suitable for steel making. This made the shaft very famous during the War of Resistance against Japanese aggression. Now the Huangcun shaft no longer has any exploitation value, but has been preserved so that tourists can visit it and experience coal digging for themselves. The coal seam in Jiayang is extremely thin, with a cross section of about 50 centimeters, and the working plane is low. Miners back then had to kneel in the tunnels to dig coal with pickaxes. This kind of pickaxe is known as the Jiayang pickaxe. 
In order to fit the narrow working plane, it is only half the size of a normal coal-digging pickaxe. People say this is a special train carriage. This four-meter-long carriage was called Carriage Zero by the miners. Every time the steam train ran on the Bago Shirshi Railway, with its whistle sounding, people in Jiayang knew another worker had left them forever. The Zhongfu Coal Mine Company was the Sino-UK joint venture in Jiaozuo, Henan Province. After Japan launched its full-scale invasion of China, it moved its equipment by waterway through the Three Gorges to Sichuan and established the Jiayang Coal Mine in 1938. It was the first joint venture coal mine in Sichuan. About 30 kilometers northwest of the county town of Qianwei, between cliffs that are over 100 meters in height, is a long and narrow valley that goes from east to west. Bago is located at the bottom of this valley. In the late 1930s, the rise of the coal industry brought many people to Bago, and the town was soon flooded with merchants. In the late 1980s, as the coal resources at Huangcun mineshaft became depleted, Miners and their families living in Bago moved away, and the prosperous hub soon became a quiet town again. These rows of British-style houses sit silently in a corner of Bago. Opposite the grand stage is a tea house. The elderly people who stayed behind often come here to drink tea, play cards, and chat. Chen Xiaorong is 92 years old. Before coming to Jiayang to be a miner, he worked as a boat tracker. He has eight children. Back then, he handled two coal carts by himself so that he could earn one more portion of health giving cake for his family.
六万，然后七十，你这是老七。<笑>陈小荣 s daughter Chen Hua is a guide at the National Mine Park Museum in Bago Town. This painting this oil painting by Yang Jianguo is called Miners. It shows a working scene in the old coal mines from early times. Jiayang coal mine has three shafts. Shaft 1 and 2 are already depleted. Now, only shaft 3, the Tianxi shaft, is still in operation. But there are only enough coal reserves for 10 years at most. After that, only the ruins of the mines will be left in Jiayang. Unlike the old shafts, the mining in the new shaft has already been mechanized. I've been given permission to go down to the working plane. There are several branch tunnels under the shaft, leading to different working planes. The nearest is about three kilometers away and takes more than 40 minutes to reach on foot. This is the first time I've ever been down a mine. Although it's mechanized, the difficulty of the work still leaves a deep impression. On the first, fourth, and seventh day of each month, villagers go to the big market in Shirshi town to do their shopping. On most days, there aren't many people taking the steam train, but on market days, the carriages are packed. There are no fixed times for stops at each station. There are eight stations on the entire journey. The ticket for a single stop is one yuan and five yuan for the whole trip. It takes over an hour to complete this journey of less than 20 kilometers. Qianwei County has a history of 1,400 years. Shishi is an ancient town under the jurisdiction of Qianwei. It is located on the west bank of the Minjiang River, northwest of the county town. It used to be an important freight dock. Back then, miners often came to Shishi town to buy food because it was cheaper here. The local people's deepest impression of this steam train is its constant clang, which has been with them for 60 years. In the old days, the coal from the mountains was transported by the train to Shishi town and then to different regions by waterway. This shed was used as a warehouse for coal back then. Next to it is the maintenance section of the steam train's terminal, Shishi Station. The Bago Shishi Railway and the maintenance section were built in the same year and have remained unchanged for 60 years. Yuan Yuehua is an old worker at the maintenance section. Today, there are still six steam locomotives serving the Jiayang steam train. The oldest among them has been working for 50 years. Mm. 
This may be the oldest maintenance workshop in China. Everything can be handled here, from tightening screws to assembling locomotives. The maintenance section and the workshop may look old, but the people here still have a deep sentimental attachment to this bygone era. Many of the people at Jiayang Coal Mine know about Yang Jianguo and his series of paintings, Miners. Before I end this trip, I decide to pay him a visit. Yang Jianguo created a 64.8 meter long oil painting and named it Miners. Many of the more than 120 figures in it are based on real people. Zhi <笑>本人打这个光机 我们刚下井的时候，他是一步一步的，每一步都盯着，就怕我们出事，脾气很可爱的。小小的事，我我都怕够了。他以为没什么事的，他要打出大了，啊，有时候快，你走，你走，你走，你又要出好大的事。今早